Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a kind of mixed luxury favorite slash new in video. Usually my favorites are kind of more solid mix of old favorites and kind of newer things, whereas this is pretty much all newer items either to my wardrobe or in my general life. I think there's only one item that I've had for a little bit longer, but these are all things I've just been really enjoying and loving. And as always, it's across a variety of categories from beauty to clothing and of course accessories as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. I did also want to mention that my Black Friday mailing list is still open. So if you missed the video where I mentioned this, I have started a mailing list for the Black Friday sales which will soon be upon us and this is basically to give you a heads up if you don't want to wait for my Black Friday content because obviously it takes time to produce videos and blog posts. I do have posts going up every single day during Cyber Week but if you want to be the first to know then I do have a mailing list which will be sending out emails as soon as luxury sales go live because Often it is a case of the first person that gets there is the one that gets the best selection of products. So this is designed for exactly that. I won't be using the mailing list for anything else. So it's only for sale alerts. I did have some people ask me uh, why they didn't get a confirmation email because I didn't set one up, it didn't even occur to me. So I have done that now and I will send a confirmation out. Um, so if you haven't received that, just check your junk. And then if it is in your junk, then just kind of move it to your inbox just to make sure that you receive them. It's a brand new email address, so I'm not quite sure how it will deliver. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you want to be notified about all the best Black Friday sales, particularly the luxury ones, then go ahead and sign up. I will just leave the link. All you have to do is pop in your email and it's as simple as that. So first up is a hand cream and this is the Chanel hand cream which I wanted to try for the longest time. I have heard so much about it but every time I walk past it in a department store I go to try it and the sample is always completely empty so clearly a lot of people like to try this hand cream but I decided to just give it a go and order it and oh my goodness I have been loving this so so much. For a starter, the packaging is of course beautiful. I wouldn't expect anything else from Chanel, but it's such a cool design. So it's very kind of smooth and rounded like a pebble. It's so nice to hold. And then to open it, you just twist the cap off. So very easy. And then you just squeeze it out. It isn't the thickest hand cream. So this isn't like a kind of body butter or anything like that, but it is still very moisturizing. And what I love about it is it absorbs very, very quickly as well. I almost like this as much as my Moroccan oil hand cream, which is my kind of holy grail hand cream it's so so good but even that one is very thick it does absorb quickly but it is more one that i tend to use at night when i don't need to use my hands as much so this is a great daytime one you know i hate it when you put hand cream on and then just everything is a little bit sticky afterwards whereas that really isn't the case with this one they do do a richer version i believe um, but i just wanted the regular one and I have been enjoying this so much. It does have a scent as well, so if you don't like fragrance, you're probably not gonna get along with this too well, but I really like the scent. It's just very, it is perfume, but it's just a very, very pretty scent. Oh, I just love this, so huge fan of this. It's also a really, really good size as well. A lot of hand creams do tend to be a little bit longer, so they're difficult to fit inside handbags, especially mini ones, whereas this is a great size. Again, it just looks so cool as well, so. Definitely a splurge for a hand cream, um, but I do think it's worth it. It's just such a lovely product and just it's nice to have a little bit of luxury during the daytime, I think. And speaking of moisturizers, I have a body cream here, which I discovered a few weeks ago and I have been hooked on this ever since. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and I think this is like a bit of a thing. There are so many reviews on it online. I had never heard of it though. I just stumbled across this in the kind of, I think it was the What's New section on Cult Beauty and the reviews were so glowing that I was like, well, I've got to give it a go. This one I think is the super size version that they did for Christmas. The normal size is quite a bit smaller than this, but it seemed like really good value. And again, the reviews were so great that I decided to just go right ahead with the larger version. And this is just amazing. It smells so good. It is ridiculous. It smells kind of like a fruity tropical milkshake, which sounds super gross, but it is really, really lovely. As soon as I put this on, Dan was like, oh my God, what's that amazing smell? It's like, it's the bum bum cream. Bit of a funny name. I did actually leave this out in our living room and we had Dan's mum staying. And she was like, 
I don't mean to pry, but what is bum bum cream? And I was like, oh, just a body moisturizer, nothing weird. Um, but it is so good. I think the name comes from the fact that it's supposed to smooth your skin. So I have been using it on my bum and my legs, uh, mainly my kind of top half, uh, but I do think I've seen a difference. It's so lovely to use as well. The texture is amazing. And this is just the best thing. So huge, huge fan of this. It also goes a really long way as well. So I have been using this for almost three weeks now. And look, it looks, I mean, I, there's a bit of a dent in it, but I think that's been doing really well. So pretty good value for money. And oh, again, just the most amazing scent. So huge, huge fan of the Bum Bum Cream totally hooked. And last for beauty, I have a kind of repeat purchase. So this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a product I've used for, gosh, maybe three years now. Uh, it's a constant go-to for me. I don't use anything else just because it works so well. So it's just a sculpting powder and highlight kit. I love it because a lot of the really kind of famous bronzers out there, I feel like Laguna from NARS, they're just very, very dark and I am very pasty and pale. So they don't really tend to work on my skin. Whereas this is a really nice shade and you also have the prettiest highlight as well which just gives you the loveliest most subtle shimmer and it's just not too much for every day because I just I don't want to be kind of with streaks over my face on a day-to-day -day basis I just want something very subtle and this is what this kit does um, so I've had them for a while but my last one broke and I have been putting off replacing it just because I don't massively like replacing things when the product is technically still fine it's just you know a bit shattered and sad um, but when I saw this I thought it was about time because I loved the packaging so much this is their Christmas edition and it has this beautiful sparkle design how stunning is that? I just thought it was lovely. And you also got this nifty little brush, which is so, so perfect to use as a highlighter brush. I didn't have a highlighter brush before, so I've just been using my fingers, but this was ideal. So I have been loving this kit so much. I think it was a little bit more money than the regular kit, but I was happy to pay that just for the brush. And the fact that the packaging is so beautiful is just an added bonus. So I already knew that I was a huge fan of the product, but now I'm even more in love with it because the beautiful set. Next up is a little makeup pouch that I got, and this is from Kate Spade. This was a little bit of an impulse buy. I ordered this when I bought my Kate Spade Molly Tote. I think it was during like their friends and family sale or something. I saw this and I'm always just a sucker for kind of confetti or polka dots, anything like that. I thought this is adorable. It just has this beautiful confetti print and it has just the odd sparkle every now and then so so cute but it's become such a favorite for me it's such a great size so i just been using this for my kind of work day essentials so i've been putting in here just a lipstick a lip balm hand cream and then my little kind of core organic spray and it just fits perfectly it's such a lovely size to fit into your handbag if you need to fits a decent amount but it's also quite structured as well which i like it's very very sturdy it has a nice solid base the hardware is super pretty as well and I just thought this was adorable. It wasn't the cheapest, um, so I was glad to get it on sale. Um, I would say Kate Spade always typically do have sales around Black Friday, but I definitely think this would make an adorable gift either for someone else or if you just wanted to treat yourself like I did, but I have been enjoying this so much. I think it's such a cute little pouch. Next up is a Burberry scarf. I love this thing so much and this has been on my wish list for a little while now. I have a pink one already which I just love to bits and I've been eyeing up the camel one. I actually wanted to get one for my mum for Christmas so I ordered her one and then I received it and I just loved it so much. I tried it on which was just such an error. I was like I'm gonna have to order one myself and so I went ahead and did that. So this is my one and it's just such a beautiful scarf. It's so stunning. The quality of Burberry scarves is just so lovely as well. Just a beautiful soft blend. The print is obviously super classic and I've just been very, very into my kind of more neutral dressing. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I feel like I wore pretty much exclusively pink and red during spring and summer. So I've just really been loving the neutrals this winter and this scarf just seems to go with everything. So huge fan of this i would recommend a burberry scarf to anyone i do feel like they're forever items the quality is amazing and i just think it's such a nice way to upgrade your look with fairly little effort next up are a few clothing favorites if you watch my outfit diary you might recognize a few of these um but first up is my faux fur jacket which oh my goodness i love so so much i mentioned in that video that i have
have struggled to find a good faux fur jacket for years now. Every time I try one on, they're either too boxy or too bulky, or I just feel silly in them. But this one is just totally different. I love the fit of it. It just fits just exactly how I'd want it to. The softness level is insane. It's just the most cuddly, cozy thing. I love the kind of diamond quilt. I think this comes in another color, um, but I love the white because I just thought it was so, so pretty. It has a great collar on it. It fastens really easily. So you just kind of have these clips. And I think this is the cutest, cutest thing. So such a huge fan of this. I've just been wearing this very simply with uh, jeans, some over the knee boots and a simple slimline sweater. Very, very simple, but it's so warm as well. I wore it over the weekend again and it was freezing cold and it just did the job exactly. So absolutely adore this considering how luxe and plush it looks as well. I don't feel like it was too badly priced and yeah, just the biggest, biggest fan of this. And onto some slightly lighter layers. Um, so I have two blazers here, uh, one which I have been wearing more than the other because the first one is a little bit more of a spring jacket, but whenever I see a good blazer, I just like to snap it up, especially if it's at a good price because good blazers aren't around all the time, I feel. Um, but this one I thought was beautiful. It's the prettiest shade of pink. How lovely is that? It has a great fit to it as well. So it is quite slimline, quite long as well, which I like. So it looks really good with a pair of skinny jeans. It has a beautiful soft lining. The color is gorgeous. It has a nice kind of silhouette as well. So fairly sharp shoulders, but they're not too much. And I just thought this was so lovely. So not one that I've been getting a ton of use of, I'm not gonna lie, um, but I am definitely saving this for the spring. I think it is so lovely and really good for the price as well. And the other blazer that I've been loving, this is another one that I mentioned in my outfit diary, but it's this one that I got from Reese. So great, I do love a good camel tone and this is just such a nice blazer. This is a double breasted blazer and I always kind of say that if it's double breasted, it has to work a little bit harder to be quite right because I always generally prefer single breasted. But this is so good, again, fully lined and Reese is always just such nice quality. I was wearing it with my little Chanel brooch which I've really been enjoying as well. But this is just the nicest tone and I really don't think that all camel tones are created equal. Sometimes they can go a bit too much on the brown side um, but this one is a really nice shade, very, very flattering, very easy to wear and just a gorgeous piece. So a bit more expensive, but my experience with Reese is always a positive one. I have been on a little bit of a Reese kick, you guys might have noticed. I used to shop with them all the time and I didn't for years. And I just rediscovered them and I've just been loving everything that's online at the moment. But another big win from Reese. I just love this to bits. My next favorite is this kind of dressy top but I feel like you could dress it down if you wanted to. I've mainly been wearing this two ways so I've been pairing this with jeans but also I've been wearing it with a faux leather skirt and I love it both ways. I do think it's a fairly versatile and it's just the prettiest thing. So it has this beautiful texture. It's almost like feathers, but it's not. It kind of has this just really pretty ruffled texture, which is so unusual. And it feels a little bit festive, but not so much that you couldn't wear it at other times of the year, which I really like. The fit is really lovely. It is a racer back design and it has this really nice neckline as well. Really good for tucking in, um, but you can leave it loose if you wanted to as well and just a really pretty one. So I have actually been reaching for this a lot, which considering it is more of a statement top, I feel a bit unusual, um, but it just seems to go with everything. So big, big fan of this. And for my last clothing favorite, I do have a sweater, which I love so much. I actually got it twice in two colors. Uh, it's one I mentioned again in my outfit diary, I think, uh, but it's just a very simple knit, but it's a very, very nice weight. It's so soft. It is a cashmere blend as well. I think there's only like 2% in though. So it's not heavy on the cashmere, but it does make it super, super soft. I love the fit of it. So it is a high low, so it's longer on the back than it is at the front. So great for wearing with denim. I have it in the black, which, it's not a super dark black. I feel like it's almost like a navy black, but a really pretty color if you can call it that. Um, and then I also have the gray one as well, which is super lovely and cozy. These do come in a few other colors, um, but I don't remember which ones. I only wanted the neutrals, but huge fan of these. They are ideal for layering. I was asked which one I prefer out of this and the 100% pure cashmere sweater. I would say that if you're just comparing it based on value, the halogen sweater is just better value. It's only a little bit more and you get 100% cashmere. But I also know that those wear and wash very well over the years. I've had mine for like three years. So it's a very good value sweater, especially if you can get it on sale. And last year they did go into the sale during Black Friday. So I would definitely wait it out if you 
were looking at that one. Um, I do think this one is really nice though. If you didn't want a very slimline sweater, which is what that is, if you wanted something a little bit wider, a little bit more casual, then I do think this is a lovely choice and they're just so, so soft and cozy. I've been just wearing these nonstop. And finally, for my very last bag favorite, I have two of my favorites right here. And I thought these made sense to show together, um, but this is actually what I've been using the most as well. So it is my Chanel Jumbo in the beige and my Saint Laurent Lulu in the nude. As I mentioned, I have been very much about the neutrals, which is why I've been gravitating towards these. But in general, I just think these are the most wonderful, wonderful bags. Uh, one is quite a bit more expensive than the other, um, but I have just been so in love with this one and it was just such a good buy. I did that about it for a long time, but 100% worth it. Even though I did have the black one, I just love it to bits. I do use it a lot in addition to my black one. I'm so happy to report I still do use my black one as well. My Saint Laurent Lulu though has also been getting a lot of love. I've gotten a ton of questions on this bag. Um, it's clearly a popular style. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I have really been enjoying it. I am going to do a kind of a double mod shot for those of you wanting to see a comparison. I have briefly talked about them anyway. Um, this one is quite a bit lighter. Obviously I can't say too much about wear and tear, but so far it has been holding up very well. I love the capacity. It can fit quite a bit more than the the Chanel Jumbo so that's something to consider and considering it is also much lighter it does make for a slightly more practical day-to-day -day bag and also of course it's a lot cheaper as well so this is still a super super luxe bag but Saint Laurent don't seem to be going quite as crazy with their price increases as Chanel are so I think it's a beautiful buy. I do think that there's a chance this might go into the sale during Black Friday. I don't think it will be included in any of the clearance sales, but a few retailers did do blanket discount codes, and this one was included this year. Certainly in the UK, I'm not so sure about the US, um, but if I do see it on sale, then I will kind of update on my YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of thing. But I do think it's worth the full price, but obviously if you can get a discount, even better. But so far I have been loving it and I've just been very much enjoying my two kind of neutral bags, all about the neutral shoulder bags at the moment, but they're just so easy to pair, very functional, and I think they look super chic as well. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave links to everything I featured in the description section below, along with the subscription page for my Black Friday mailing list if you did want to sign up to that. If you have any other questions for me, though, then leave me a comment. If you enjoy these favorites videos, please do give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.